Hello, my name is Nadine. I'm the owner of NG Platinum Homes. Today's video is going to be about some kitchen island design ideas to add functionality for you. So if you're doing a kitchen renovation, an island is a big piece of it, but sometimes people don't really think about some ads that you can put in there. It just seems like, you know, most people consider the main cabinetry is the main area for storage and things like that, but you really want to maximize the storage in your kitchen and you can do so by adding it to the island. So one way you can do that is when you're designing your island, mix and match the types of storage that you have in your island. So don't just put drawers or just doors, put both. You definitely want to add a pull out trash can and mixing up the different types of storage that you have in there is really going to help maximize the storage space that you have in your kitchen. You can also consider working in a dining table extension off of your island. So if you have kind of a little bit of a smaller space and you don't have much room for a large island and a table, you can incorporate them both together and you can, you know, mix it up. You can add a T-shape to it, or there's another option. If you build your island on kind of a curve, you can put in a bench seating there and have a table in front of it. And that's a really beautiful, cozy option. And I talked about that in another video. Another way to max out the storage in the island for your kitchen is something that really people don't think about. And I have incorporated this into many kitchens. So if you have an island and the front part is going to be a seating area, most people tend to go with just some sort of panel in the front, but I would highly suggest putting in storage there with uh, doors and shelving inside and you can always use that to store maybe items that you don't use all year because there will be seating in front of it and you don't want to have to non-stop move around seating to get into those cabinetry but you can use that for maybe holiday dishes and things like that I suggest that for my clients all the time and they love it because it gives tons of extra storage especially if you're making a large island it's just great you might want to also consider adding in a wine fridge into your island if the wine fridge is allowed in there with the space or you can just put a beverage fridge in there to give extra space for your refrigerator that's a great option and i would also think that you should consider putting in a microwave into your island so then that way it will allow for more space around the other parts of your kitchen you can also consider being flexible with a mobile island so i've had a few clients that didn't think that they could actually even fit an island in their kitchen. And we ended up putting a small mobile island in there that is on wheels and they can move it around. It's great for entertaining. So this is something that's wonderful to consider if your space isn't quite large enough for a large built-in island. So lastly, this is not about functionality. This is more of a design trend when it comes to islands. And I absolutely love this. And I'm sure you've seen it circulating social media, Instagram, Pinterest. If you're renovating your kitchen and building building a beautiful island, consider a waterfall edge. And what that is, is the countertop seamlessly comes across the counter and down the sides. And it's a beautiful accent to your kitchen. I just wanted to note that, that like I said, it's not about storage or function, but it's a beautiful addition to your kitchen. I hope you found these tips helpful. Until then, keep designing your life and I'll see you in the next one.